Hi everybody, this is Jason Lupke, Global Solution Specialist with Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. And we're here today in part three of our Unboxing Science Dimensions video series. And we're gonna be talking about the Teacher's Edition. If you haven't watched video one and two in the series, I encourage you to go back and watch those. But right now we're gonna jump into Science Dimensions Teacher Edition. So in front of me, I have a grade four sample. I see that right up here at the top. Okay, and you'll notice similar to the student edition, you know, it's a, it's a soft cover. It does have a hard back to it, so it's a little sturdier on the back there. The idea here, again, it's easy to carry around and, and use for teachers. A little more durable. Okay, so let's jump in and take a look at what we have inside. So the first thing that I, that I would like to talk about, you know, in the front matter here, or the, the intro pages, I'm looking here at page T10 and T11. We talk about the three dimensions of learning. And I think it's really important to take a note here about science dimensions and the fact that it's built on those next generation science standards. Those three dimensions of science learning include, included in those next generation standards are the scientific and engineering practices, also known as the SEPs the cross-cutting concepts, also known as the CCCs, and of course, the disciplinary core ideas, or DCIs. Now, those standards are labeled very clearly throughout the program, and we've included plenty of professional development and opportunities for teacher learning throughout the teacher's edition, including right here, we, we see a reference to the trace tool, that's an online tool that will help you identify where the standards are taught throughout the program. Okay, so as we move on to the planning pages, we're gonna start by taking a look at sort of what I would call a year at a glance. So this is sort of the, the zoomed out view, right? The 10,000 foot view as I like to call it. And you'll see those three dimensions of learning highlighted along with each one of of the, the lessons and, and matched up with the resources that we use to teach those standards. Moving on to the table of contents, we're sort of zooming in on the, the structure of the program a little bit. And we're looking here specifically at the unit pages for three, four, and five. Here, you can see the structure of the units and a listing of all of the variety of hands-on activities and other lesson components. So let's, let's go a little bit deeper. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so as we look here at the unit planning pages, we can see all of the lesson components and the activities that we have available. And as you can see, Science Dimensions follows that 5E model of instruction. And you can see that here on the unit planning pages. We highlight the tools and resources that you have through each of those five E's. You know, as we go through the engage with the lesson phenomenon and the can you solve it? And then the explore and the explain section where we apply what we know and we participate in those hands-on activities. And then of course the elaborate where we do the take it further section. And we talked a little bit about that in the, in the exploration of our student edition. And then of course the evaluate where we get into that lesson check and lesson roundup. So we've looked at the yearly planning and the unit planning pages. So now let's take a look at the lesson planning pages. I'll just flip over here as we open up to a lesson inside of the program. We can see our lesson title up here at the top, right? And we're really looking at things at a, at a more granular level. So we still have those, those three dimensions of learning, but you can see we've really broken it down. So you know exactly under each one of those categories what we're focusing on. We even reference videos that are professional development videos around those standards. Just like we talked about in the, in the overview of the student edition, we've got those cross-curricular connections to both English language arts and mathematics. And then of course, we have all of the, the tools that you need for teaching and, and learning. So things like extra hands-on activities. We've already talked about the robust professional development that comes with the program. And so those videos and resources are linked here. And of course, our options for differentiation and assessing and building on prior knowledge. So as you can see, a pretty robust set of teacher resources here that will help you implement 
science dimensions, and really get to that deeper learning that we're looking for in our science classrooms. This has been Jason Lupke. Thanks for watching, guys, as we've, as we've unboxed and dug deeper into our Science Dimensions program. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can reach us by commenting below, offering your feedback, and asking questions. We want to engage in those conversations with you. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the HMH International Content Cares YouTube channel. If you're looking for more content, click on the video to the right of your screen. Welcome to our global community.